Hey guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, in this section, we're going to add our chords. And for this, I'm going to use Nexus, um, and I'm just loading that plugin here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a kind of like a, a Rhodes is what it's called. It's 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 a cool sound. Um, you can duplicate this with uh, FL Studio's basic plugins, and to do this, um, all you have to do is go to your channel rack, click the plus button, and it'll bring up a list of plugins that you can add. You can find this if you're stuck. If I'm going too fast, you can find um, what I'm doing in a PDF file it con contained in this uh, tutorial. And I just renamed this to chords. Um, right click it and go to piano keys. Uh, we're just going to go down. What we did was we just uh, clicked a stamp. My computer actually doesn't have the capability to record um, my right clicks for some reason. So I apologize for that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put everything that I right clicked, I'm going to put in a file so you can see what I'm doing. And what I'm doing here is uh, I'm just reorganizing these chords. Um, the longer these chords are, if you hold Alt and right click, you can do what I just did right there, which is just preview the time play. And this, the longer the chords are, the longer they're going to be drawn out, just like this. As you can see, and there's no real rhyme or reason. If you know anything about music theory, then that will definitely come in handy here. Chords are just uh, multiple notes played at the same time. And what I'm doing, I don't, I'm just doing something that sounds good. That's the metronome button that I just clicked up there. And that, that uh, plays a click on every beat. So you can see where you are in your song. And we're just going to create one more here, just playing around at this point. Like I said, to do that, just hold Alt and hold right click. And then as you drag, you can play different parts of your song, which is really handy when you, when you need to hear um, transitions without playing the actual song. Like this. Uh, space bar will play and stop your sample and if you see on the top that orange button there the orange button that looks like uh, a repeat button that just plays the current sample that you're editing right now if I turn that off and I hit play then it will play my entire song on my playlist uh, we're not gonna get into that because that's just basic FL studio stuff which you can literally find anywhere online tutorials um, that just show you how to use FL Studio. But this stuff is really basic, really simple. You'll get a hang of it really quick. I did uh, my first time using it. It was it's really intuitive. And now what I'm doing here is a trick that you can do is if you play these chords, um, you see the thick lines. Those are our beats. If we play the chords a little bit before or after those lines, then it sounds more natural. It doesn't sound as robotic-y. And to do this, you just hold Alt and you can drag the chord and it'll move the time 
that it plays just a little bit. I select all this, I go up here, uh, I'm just going to ungroup these. And click these second notes, the up arrow, and that'll shift these second notes in the chord up an octave. Uh, this just gives it like a, a cool little um, variation. You don't have to do this. You just play around with the sounds. Uh, I held uh, shift down to get that down an octave. I'm just going to add a little variation here at the end. You'll really have to play around with what you like. This is our channel rack, click the chords. Um, here I'm just messing with the settings. Resonance, make it echo a little bit more. Um, just different things you can play around with. I'm just messing around with here. Playing with the cutoff, which is on the top left right there. And yeah, once we figure out what chords we want, I'm just shifting this down. Once we do that, we select it and then control B and it copies and pastes what we just selected right next to each other just to fill out that bar and there we go